What exactly happens to the brain and spinal cord in patients with multiple sclerosis, MS? The brain and spinal cord are made up of neurons, a type of cell that delivers information from the brain to the spinal cord and then to the rest of the body. The information is delivered through the part of the neuron called the axon, which is a long projection that acts like an electrical wire. Axons carry the information and are wrapped in a protective material called myelin, which helps the information transmitted along the neurons flow more efficiently. In patients with MS, the myelin insulation around the neurons becomes damaged, so the signals from your brain to the rest of the body go haywire. Why does this happen? It is mainly due to immune cells. In MS, immune cells go awry. And instead of attacking foreign pathogens, they begin attacking the protective myelin that surrounds the nerves. A collaboration of scientists led by Dr. Craig Walsh from UC Irvine are taking a new approach to treating MS, a regenerative approach. Their strategy involves transplanting a type of cell called neural precursor cell, NPC, into the brain and spinal cord. What are NPCs? This is a group of cells that can become three different cell types, including neurons and oligodendrocytes, the cells that produce myelin. The idea is that if healthy NPCs are transplanted, these cells can first make new neurons to replace the ones that are damaged in MS, second, make healthy oligodendrocytes, which can make more myelin to insulate the neurons, and third, regulate the immune system.